Parti de Gauche was uh, created uh, four and a half years ago and uh, we really have uh, been trying to repopularize this uh, project of eco-socialism which was uh, theorized uh, during the 70s but was not very well known. So we have uh, had a, a whole approach about eco-socialism as a new synthesis uh, in the left uh, around red and green issues, both social justice and environmental uh, protection. And so we have uh, done the, the first national seminar about eco-socialism in Paris last uh, December. And since then, uh, we have uh, produced a collective text, which is uh, the first manifesto for eco-socialism. We are uh, quite uh, popular and uh, we are also, I must say, part of a larger alliance, political alliance, which is uh, the Front de Gauche, Left Front, and uh, that's nine different political parties joining together. So this, uh, of course, gives us uh, more force to join forces. And uh, I must say that uh, the new so-called socialist government uh, by François Hollande in France is uh, getting less and less popular because, uh, unfortunately, they do the same uh, kind of economical policy than uh, did uh, the right with Nicolas Sarkozy before. So uh, the people who elected François Hollande for a change are really disappointed and so more and more are interested by what we uh, at the left front uh, have to suggest as a change and a new political project. Eco-socialism is uh, really a project uh, that uh, tries to learn lessons from the past, from both uh, socialism and ecology, uh, because socialism has uh, made uh, mistakes in the past uh, and also has really uh, failed to take into account environmental uh, constraints and climate change and all ecological issues. And on the other side, environmental movements have uh, not always had a very strong economic analysis of the system and also uh, were not very uh, strongly engaged in social struggles. So we try to take the best out of these uh, different left traditions to build a new synthesis uh, which would be uh, some kind of anti-capitalist ecology or uh, anti-productivist socialism, I would say. So it's really red and green at the same level of uh, emergency and uh, systematically taking into account both social justice and environmental issues in all our propositions and in our program. Well, we think that there is a, an urgent need for uh, this demonstration that uh, uh, politics can be something else than what uh, citizens see nowadays. Because uh, we, we can see in France, but also in many other countries, that more and more people uh, do not go to vote anymore. Uh, abstention rates are increasing. And for more and more people, they don't see anymore the difference between left and right. Uh, they don't think that uh, politicians can change uh, their life uh, a better way. Uh, so we think that it, it really urges that uh, politics brings something new and brings uh, <laughs> hope and a better way uh, of life. What, uh, uh, our comrades in South America call uh, Buen Vivir, uh, good life. And that's uh, all uh, eco-socialism uh, is about. So we really have this new project, but also all our elected members and all our activists in the Parti de Gauche, they don't wait for citizens' revolution to happen before acting. They act here and now in uh, concrete alternatives and uh, many uh, field actions uh, with small communities, with the farmers, uh, with uh, the people where they live and where they act. The green rule is uh, something we uh, invented uh, during the last uh, presidential campaign with our candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon. 
and uh, it was a, a response to the golden rule of uh, the uh, austerity policies all around uh, the European Union, meaning that uh, the, 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 the necessity nowadays is not austerity that cuts off public investments and uh, uh, very important public services such as energy, railways, healthcare, education that are both on the social and environmental dimensions really essential for, for, for us and instead we wanted to place the green rule in our French constitution meaning that we shall not uh, take from the nature more than what the biosphere is able to renew for next year and next uh, generations. So it, for us it's another kind of political compass uh, instead of uh, the golden rule and instead of the GDP which is not an indicator for uh, well-being. First, a formal international network already existing with, which is uh, the, the party of the European left. Uh, with the, our counterparts and friends in many countries. And uh, since we have uh, uh, produced this uh, first manifesto for the eco-socialism, uh, we have been traveling a lot uh, in uh, more than a dozen countries to present it uh, in Europe and Northern Africa, in uh, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Spain, uh, in uh, Portugal, in the UK, in Italy, many countries. And uh, everywhere we met uh, quite an enthusiastic response to that. So we are be having the manifesto translated into uh, 10 different languages. Uh, and uh, very active in, in trying to, 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 to establish some kind of internationalist, eco-socialist network all around the world. Uh, there are already existing networks uh, in Quebec, for example. There is uh, also a new appeal for uh, eco-socialism in Geneva. So we also take part to these uh, different actions. And uh, we think the international dimension of it is really important because even though the, the, the political situations are very different from a country to another, this social and environmental concern is, is present everywhere, uh, as well as uh, the austerity policies. So, so you think it could be the global answer to the global crisis? Yeah, it, it can really be a, a kind of cement uh, for international left, international radical left, to find a new path towards uh, well, towards human progress.